What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. To those that don't know me, hi, I'm Brandon and we got an official first looks trailer on The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. This is the Rick and Mathone series, so let's react to the trailer. I'm looking for him. I'm gonna head north. You don't want to go north, not now. My choice. My daughter is my choice. My life is my choice. It's been so long. Your phone, you know what it says? The Japanese? Believe a little bit longer. Thank you, Grimes. Why? You showed me I can't get away. This is the most powerful military on the planet. I'm just gonna ask you a question, Grimes. Look in your eyes. Why are you here? Do you want to kill? Or do you want to die? Look in my eyes, sir. You tell me. We can make this whole damn world ours if we want to. That's the spirit. Born in a month. Okay, so... The ones who live... I'm not gonna lie, it does look like that Walking Dead is now getting a much more bigger budget. Uh, I do wonder if there will be another season of this, like how there's going to be another season of Dead city and uh the daryl dixon series now people who know me know how much i loved the walking dead i used to watch watch it religiously and i never missed an episode until like the final part of the final season because of some stuff with a hurricane that came in my area which made me miss an episode but i'm not gonna lie like i used to really love walking dead but after what they did with Carl, kind of like heavily stained the series, if you get what I mean. And uh, I remember, you know, when Rick left The Walking Dead, they were originally going to make Rick Grimes movies. But that pretty much got stuck in development hell. Then the pandemic and all that happened. So I kind of feel like they were like, you know what, we're just going to make it into a limited series or... I don't know if this is going to be a limited series, but they're just going to make it into a series with Rick, Mason, the trash lady. I won't be surprised if Morgan shows up soon. That'll be cool if he does. That'll be cool if he does. But yeah, no. I do hope this is pretty. I do hope this is good. I do really hope this is good because Walking Dead. No, after Rick left, after they killed off Carl, like, season 9 was really good. I will admit that. Season 10, kind of, uh, then again, because of the pandemic, it did a bit, kind of suffered with those bonus episodes. And season 11, like, it was mostly hits, some messes here and there, but still, it was pretty good. Um, Dead City... It just kind of felt like it ignored the character development that we saw um, Maggie and Negan have in the original series. And I don't know. I Like, it was still good, but at the same time, I don't know. It just felt like it ignored some stuff, and I just think it could have been better. But the Daryl Dixon series, that was good. That was really good. 
felt new, unique, but yet continuing off with what we know. Well, no, it felt like the same Daryl, nothing new. And yeah, I have seen some of Fear of the Walking Dead. I kind of quit watching that because I it kind of it got bad. I, I don't know. I didn't like it much. What's I don't know. It kind of just felt different eventually. And I only watched one season of um, World Beyond, which that is like a CW Walking Dead. So that, I don't know. I wasn't really a big fan of it. It just could have been better, I guess. And I haven't watched the uh, other spinoff yet where it like focuses on the other people. It has Terry Crews in, a, in an episode, which I still need to watch that. But, yeah, The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. What are your thoughts on this series before watching it? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's not going to be good? Are you excited to see Rick Grimes back? Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.